Cardiff Blues' last away win may have come in Edinburgh last February, but with eight wins and just one loss away to Italian opposition on their record, the stats might have pointed towards a win for Phil Davies' side. Blues giving under-21 international winger Owen Jenkins and flanker Ellis Jenkins their first Pro 12 starts. Treviso went into the game off the back of three narrow defeats, the latest a one-point reverse at home to Leinster. But that was only their second home loss since last November, and with a number of Italian internationals returning, confidence was high in the home side's camp. On a cold evening in northern Italy, it was the home side who went in front in the third minute. Out half Matt Bergquist with the perfect start with the boot for 3-0. But the response from Cardiff was almost immediate. Blues getting over for a try on almost their first serious attack in the seventh minute. The ball spread wide to winger Chris Cheka, who got the touchdown in the corner. The Welsh internationals' first score of the season. And when Gareth Davies converted, it put the visitors seven points to three ahead. Burquist and Davies then swapped penalties to leave it 10-6, and that lead would become 13-6 in the 17th minute, when more Treviso in discipline gave Davies another chance with the boot, an opportunity he was happy to accept. It was end-to-end, -end and Burquist again brought the Italians back to within striking distance with his third penalty of the evening to leave it 13-9 for Blues. However, the Welsh men made a vital breakthrough just past the half-hour mark when flanker Robin Copeland used his considerable bulk to drive over for his side's second try of the night. The big Wexford man's second try of the season. And when Davies converted, it was 20 points to nine for Cardiff. And that was the score at the half-time break. Into the second half, Treviso got right back into the game with a good try from the vastly experienced Italian international Alessandro Zani. He received the ball from Cornelius Van Zyl before getting to the try line despite the attempted tackle from Dan Fish. Zani stretching over the line for the touchdown, his second try of the season. Berkvist converted and it was 16-20. It was game on. And when Treviso got over for another try in the 57th minute, they went in front for the first time since early on. Substitute scrum half Eduardo Gori slipping through the Cardiff defence and just managing to get over for the try, which was converted by Bergquist. That gave the Italians a 23 points to 20 lead. However, the home side shot themselves in the foot somewhat shortly after that. Substitute prop Michele Rizzo was sent to the sin bin for a tackle off the ball on Sam Hobbs. And Davies landed the resultant penalty to make it 23 all. Ear to ear. 12 minutes from time, the referee Five. Leo Colgan penalised the Cardiff Seven. scrum and substitute yes, prop nine. Benoit Borust in particular. And Bergquist once more edged Treviso ahead with the penalty. Cardiff were then reduced to 14 men in the 71st minute when Filo Paolo was yellow carded for persistent infringements. However, four minutes from time, Blues were awarded a penalty within range and Davies landed the kick, albeit off the upright to make it 26 all. A draw was probably a fair result in a very tightly contested encounter. At the end, it was honours even. Both sides with Heineken Cup matches to look forward to before getting back into Pro 12 action before Christmas. The final score at the Stadio Monigo. Benetton Treviso 26, Cardiff Blues 26.